Hey guys, it's Pope. Today I am going to submit to a lot of requests to do a walkthrough of my gym. I do train at home full time. I lift in a detached garage at my house every day by myself. My wonderful hubby constructed the entire thing from the ground up. I helped, but I'm not going to claim much of it. He did almost all of it himself. And I was just kind of an extra pair of hands here and there. And it's freaking beautiful and I love it and it's a great training space and just environment even though I'm there by myself every day. I love my gym and I love the way it's set up. I still am going to keep adding equipment because it's new. I just bought this house in January so I've only been here for about seven months now so there's still a lot more that can be done to the gym but I've got kind of everything I actually need to train for weightlifting. And so yeah, let's go check it out. So this is from my deck. And so this is a house. This is my backyard. I live in Georgia, but I live in kind of a rural part of Georgia, not like downtown Atlanta. I live north of Atlanta, so I was able to buy some land, not too expensive because I'm kind of out in the sticks. So yeah, I have this gorgeous yard. So that's why it looks like a forest through the window of my videos. And then over here is the gym, this detached building over here. It technically is a garage, but it is an oversized garage, so I don't know if you could call it a, a shed or whatever, but it does have a garage door and it is coded as a detached garage. And here she is. Here's my beautiful training facility. I have three rows of platforms, which technically you could fit nine lifters at once if they were taking turns. I have my jerk blocks here, which we built ourselves. And they also do come apart to make another set of pulling blocks but I keep these set up as jerk blocks all the time. This is my Barbells and Bows logo. I have got my two hook grip posters. This is my Snatch PR, which I've hit a few times in meets now, but this is from the Arnold in 2017. And then I've got my Clean and Jerk PR over here from the Arnold 2018. So much glare on there. Both of these posters are available for sale in my store if you want a poster. So yeah, I'm going to still add some of my sponsor's decals here. I still have that to do, but this is kind of like my decor wall, if you will. Over here on the wall, I have what is a very cool abstract painting of my snatch progression that my friend Liz made for me. It actually looks just like my snatch. It's super cool. Sad to say that she is not making those for sale. I wish that she would because she's very talented at this very unique style of art, but she doesn't want to sell them. She just did that as a gift. So for the actual walls themselves, there's lumber on the bottom so that when we miss a lift, which hopefully we're not doing very often, right Kristen? And the bar slams into the wall it's not going to put a hole in the wall. <laughs> and then above, there's just sheetrock and paint. There was nothing on the walls before, so that was all from the ground up, creating the walls. This window was only one window before. We added a second window, so cut the hole bigger and made these windows so there's more natural light. This is the angle I usually film at, so that's why it always looks like there's a forest, because there is a forest. Here is the barbell rack. I have a men's beater bar, a new men's rogue bar, and I didn't put my bar away, <laughs> my women's ZKC bar. I've had this bar for about two years now. My ZKC is the favorite bar I've ever lifted on. I like it better than Alico. I like it better than DHS. <laughs> I like it better than the Rogue Bar. 
Not many people lift on a ZKC. It's a Chinese bar and it was approved for international competition and was the international bar for a while, but it just hasn't been lately. I don't really know how I ended up with that one, but I love it. <laughs> the spin is so good and it's really bouncy and whippy. I can put 65 kilos on there on a back squat and it's bouncing. <laughs> okay, over here, I've got all my change plates. I did some metal plates first, just because they were cheap. I've got some kilo metal plates that I was training on at first and then I added on with these rogue babies that I got recently. And I finally got some clips so people can stop complaining that I never use clips. The reason I wasn't using any clips is mainly because I didn't have any. <laughs> All of this stuff is really expensive, especially competition clips. I don't have those yet. They're $250. Those are the cheapest ones I can find that are actually like legit that weigh two and a half kilos that they use like in the competition. I would love to train with those, but $250 on clips. I have two sets of plates. I started out with these black ones and both sets are the no bounce, but the black ones are like zero bounce. They're like the dead stop. So I've got those and now I've got these colored ones, the competition set. They're all rogue. Those are just the best deal. That's why I use those. Not sponsored by Rogue, not sponsored by any equipment company. This is just the equipment I decided to purchase. These are the pull blocks that I use. We made those also. I use the pull blocks for snatches, for cleans, power cleans, uh, block pulls, uh, belt squats, all kinds of stuff I use the pull blocks for. So I like to have my jerk blocks set over here all the time so I don't have to put them together. And then I have the additional set of pull blocks. The floors have concrete and then a double layer of plywood and then this nice plywood on the top and horse stall mats in between. And we get the horse stall rubber mats from a feed and supply store. Might do a full how to build a platform video, but that is not what this video is. <laughs> That's just a little general rundown of what the materials are. I would need some, some help to do a full how to do a platform build video. I know you guys want that also, but we'll have to save that for another video. I've got a bike that I don't use very much. I do some steady state cardio every now and then, not very often. I've got some training plates Colin gave me, some vintage works on. And I've got one squat rack right now, this Rogue rack. I got this squat rack in California off of Craigslist. This is a used squat rack. I just hung up all these hook grip posters. These are my new training partners. I got Morgan King, Ilya, Lydia. Lydia's my favorite. Rebecca Koha, and this is crazy. This is a 90 kilo snatch from the Olympics, and now she's attempting well over 100 kilo snatches. She is a badass. And Louise up there, Mr. Speedy Gonzalez. I've got some dumbbells, which I need more of. I don't have any 15s, I really need some 15s. And I need some big, big guys too, but that's all I got so far. I have one kettlebell I just ordered off of Amazon. <laughs> I have one slam bar I also just got off of Amazon. This bench came from Play It Again Sports. It's a used bench. Over here I've got all of my bands and shoes, knee sleeves, all that good stuff. And then over here in the corner I have my sound system. This came off of the TV actually, I just stole it. This is the Blu-ray player that was in the living room. <laughs> and I've got a one sub down there. Here's some chalk, hand armor chalk. And I've got speakers in all the corners. So that's why my jams always sound pretty good. I've got speakers run throughout the garage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I do have an air conditioner. That's probably the most important thing right over there because it's like 90 every day here in Georgia while I'm training and that little window unit is making a huge difference. 
when it was springtime I was opening the garage door but now I've been using that AC and I've got this little heater connected to a what's that called propane tank that I was using in the winter so yeah this is my facility this is where I train at I wish I had more people to train with but it works I get the job done in here I've got Gucci and Lil Wayne and all my other friends on the stereo over there. It has been a long work in progress and I was training kind of in a messy construction zone most of the time until recently when it was all finished. And just kind of made it work, stayed positive that you can really train anywhere and that eventually it would come together and it has and it's freaking beautiful. I love it so much. Oh, I didn't really talk about the accent wall. That is real wood, it's all reclaimed wood. Love it, it's so pretty. Hope you enjoyed the tour. I'm about to go get ready for lifting. I've got power snatch and power clean complexes to do today. to feel impressed with myself and I am feeling that way after that workout. Nothing too heavy but those complexes have been hard for me over the last few weeks as I've been building them up and today that was the heaviest I had done so far on the three position in both lifts and I crushed it today. I'm really happy with my technique especially from the high hang above the knee that's where I have the most trouble especially on the clean. I have a really hard time pushing through my legs from that position and also pulling down with the bar. It's kind of like uh, one and then the other instead of more simultaneous. And today I was crushing those, I'm so happy. That was a really productive workout for me. Hope you guys liked hanging out with me today. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I will see you in the next video, bye.